Stop being manipulated by the power of words used by people who throw around big words and complex statements just to put you down. Do you ever feel like people talk over your head on purpose to make you feel small and insignificant? Or worse, to hide the real meaning of what they're saying so you don't even have a chance to respond? It's frustrating, right? The truth is, words have real power. They can help enhance communication or they can be twisted to manipulate and control you especially through tactics like gaslighting. And when you don't fully understand what someone's saying, it's easier for them to exploit that power imbalance. By building a stronger command of vocabulary and sharpening your communication skills, you can flip the script, gain control, and never feel outmatched in conversation again. Stick around, because by the end of this video, you'll have the apparatus, uh, wait, I mean strategies, you need to protect yourself and take charge of any conversation. Welcome to the Mindful Communication Revolution. I'm Stephen Walters, and it's my goal to help you build stronger personal and professional relationships through effective communication strategies, especially when it comes to the power of words. Let me go academic on this for a moment to make my point by explaining the importance of being able to dissect the egregiously loquacious diatribes of sanctimonious individuals. These are the people who, with pernicious intent, vociferously obfuscate their true meaning tossing around condescending rhetoric with a supercilious air of authority. They use language as a weapon to create an illusion of superiority, hoping their word salad mumbo jumbo will leave you unsure of yourself, feeling inferior, and most importantly, under their control. But here's the truth. You don't need big words to prove your worth. Once you see through their smoke and mirrors, you'll realize their big words are just a cover for insecurity, and you're more equipped than they are to handle the conversation. And that's the key. Understanding and using words effectively is what really gives you control. So let's dig deeper into the core of this, words. The real power of communication comes from truly understanding and applying words in ways that actually matter. That's why expanding your vocabulary isn't just about knowing more words, although that does help. It's about gaining the ability to steer conversations, build stronger relationships, and boost your confidence in both personal and professional settings. And it also gives you the power to recognize when someone is using words to manipulate you through gaslighting. When you understand what someone is saying or what they're not saying, you can stay in control of the conversation, see through the manipulation, and protect yourself. Here's a quick example. Imagine you're in a business meeting and someone says, we need to operationalize our synergistic core competencies to leverage cross-platform paradigms. Sounds impressive, right? But what does it really mean? Probably nothing. It's just a bunch of buzzwords meant to confuse or impress people without actually adding value to the conversation. Now, imagine if instead they said something like, we need to focus on our strengths and find ways to collaborate across teams. That's clear, concise, and easy to understand. The point is, when people throw around big words without substance, it's often a tactic to hide a lack of real meaning or direction. A strong vocabulary helps you cut through the noise and stay in control of the conversation. So how do you start building a stronger vocabulary? It's easier than you think. Here's a few practical strategies to get started. One simple habit can make all the difference. Learn one new word every day. Whether it comes from a conversation, a news report, or something you read, Make it your goal to use that word as often as possible throughout the day. Repetition is key. It helps solidify the word in your memory and makes it a natural part of your vocabulary. But to really expand your word bank, go beyond your usual reading material. Don't just stick to memes or quick texts. Explore articles, books, blogs, or even research papers. The more you expose yourself to different styles of writing, the more new words you'll encounter naturally. And to get a jump start, stick around until the end where I'll show you exactly where to find an extensive source of new words. And one of the most important parts of growing your vocabulary is that when you do come across a new word, don't let it slip away. Write it down in a word journal along with its meaning and an example sentence. Make it a habit to revisit this journal often and challenge yourself to work those new words into conversations, emails, or even texts as soon and as often as possible. Remember, building a vocabulary isn't about memorizing fancy words. It's about having the right word ready when you need it. The more you practice and expose yourself to new words, the more natural they'll become as part of your everyday language. This not only boosts your communication skills, 
but also helps you confidently protect yourself from being manipulated by the power of words. A strong vocabulary isn't just useful. It's a tool that can protect you from manipulation tactics like gaslighting. Gaslighting happens when someone twists words to make you doubt your own reality, often using confusing or complex language to keep you off balance. But when you've built a solid vocabulary, you can cut through the jargon and see things clearly. Let's take a quick look at this. Imagine a colleague in a meeting saying, I never said that, or you're just misremembering. If you aren't confident in what was actually discussed, their words can make you second guess yourself. But when you're equipped with a clear understanding of the conversation and the right vocabulary to challenge their statements, you stay in control and can call out the manipulation for what it is. The point is that a wide vocabulary gives you the power to navigate these tricky conversations. It's not just about recognizing manipulation, it's about having the ability to confidently push back and steer the conversation in the right direction. Here's another thing. Words don't just help you communicate. They help you create the reality you want to live in. Now, follow me on this and think about that for a moment. When you have control over the language you use, you're not just navigating conversations, you're shaping your future. Whether it's building stronger relationships, gaining more respect in your career, or protecting yourself from harmful influences like gaslighting, words are your foundation. They give you the power to frame every interaction and leave lasting impressions that align with your values and goals. So are you going to let others control the narrative with their words, or are you going to take charge with your word knowledge? You can start now by subscribing to the Mindful Communication Revolution. That's designed to help you reach higher levels of success by mastering effective communication skills in school, at work, and in your life beyond. Now, here's that bonus resource I promised. If you haven't seen it yet, I've created a playlist on my channel that features an extensive collection of advanced vocabulary words frequently used by the media, by politicians, and teachers. These are the kind of words that can easily trip you up in conversations, but once you understand them and know them, you'll always stay in control. To keep this conversation going, share in the comments how words have shaped your life, and let's discuss how we can sharpen your skills even more. And one more thing. If you're ready to take the next step and want to start adding new words to your daily usage today, check out this video right here. It'll get you started with advanced vocabulary words to help you stop being manipulated by the power of words. Don't miss it. Until next time, keep learning, keep growing, and most importantly, keep communicating mindfully with purpose. Thanks for watching. I'll see you online soon.